الحمد للہ رب العالمین وصل اللہ وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله الله سبحانه وتعالى في كتابه الكريم بين لنا أن الشرك أعظم جريمة الله سبحانه وتعالى in the Quran في كتابه الكريم and the Quran is the book of Allah it's the speech of Allah عز وجل he clarifies for us that the most serious sin or crime and in fact before Islam and when we're not educated to the aqidah of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah we don't think of shirk as a crime as like a almost although in the shirk you don't actually can call it a perhaps a criminal offense in that sense but it is actually a type of crime it's a type of sin it's a major sin it is the a'zam the greatest sin that you can do and this is in accordance to the book of Allah and the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala orders us with that which is the opposite of shirk which is tawheed and iman and ikhlas sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabihi al-kareem wa ma umiru illa liya'budu allaha mukhlisin lahu deen and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that the people before were only ordered with worshipping Allah alone with sincerity. وَمَا أُمِرُوا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that they were only commanded with worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone associating no partners with Him with sincerity مُخْلِسِينَ لَهُ الدِّينَ with sincerity and that the religion is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and in an authentic hadith of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam The hadith of Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala an Qala sami'tu Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallama yaqul Qala Allahu ta'ala ana aghna shurakai an al-shirk Man amila amalan ashraka fihi ma'i ghayri taraktuhu wa shirkuhu Ruahu Muslim So this is an authentic hadith in Sahih Muslim In which Prophet said and it was related narrated by Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala an that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said قال الله ta'ala so it's a hadith al-Qudsi that the Prophet alayhi salatu salam said that Allah the Almighty said ana aghna shuraka I am the most self-sufficient meaning he, he doesn't need anyone he doesn't need anything subhanahu wa ta'ala and this is the difference between us and those other faiths the, the other faiths of kufriya of disbelief is that they say that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala needs a son or that you need an intercessor or that you you know the pagan faith the pagan religions and the 
uh, Hindus. In fact, I was on the airplane coming back to America and there was a Hindu man sitting next to me. And we had long, intricate discussions about many things, about my research, about the economy in India, and so forth. But what I recall, what stood out, and it was so strange to me because of always being in the environment of Tawheed and with Ahl Sunnah and with, you know, and other Muslims in general. But when he said, when we were talking about the differences and, 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 and so forth, and similarities in, in religious uh, beliefs, and he mentioned, though, he negated everything when he said everything that was the, the, the that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala establishes and makes ta'zim of himself, subhanahu wa ta'ala, the worship of Allah alone, he, he said something about many gods. And he was just open. And that was the first time I ever heard that I can recall anyone out of their mouth talk about them having many gods. I've met pagans who don't believe in God. I've met many, I know Hindus, I've met many different people. But to, out of his mouth, the purest form of shirk. Here's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in this hadith of Qudsi about shirk, about associating partners with him. Ana avna shuraka. I am the most self-sufficient. I'm not in need of partners. An a shirk from shirk, from polytheism in all of its manifestations. And then he said, Man amana amanan, whoever does a deed or an action and he associates, you know, commits shirk in it, polytheism, you know, devotes it to someone else and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Or devotes that act of worship, gives that act of worship to other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Meaning they worship the Hindu God, they worship, uh, a piece of paper, the Gahanzin, like some of the Buddhists, they worship Isa alayhi salatu wasalam. Some worship Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Some worship Angel Jibreel alayhi salatu wasalam. So whoever worships those people and those things, other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah is free from them and free from their shirk. Likewise, if they worship along with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala other deities, Allah is free from them in the shirk. Allah Ta'ala, Man amana amanan ashraka fihi ma'i ghayri taraktuhu wa shirkuhu. I'm free from him, I've left him, and I've left his shirk. So Allah is free from them, he has left them, and he has left their polytheist, polytheist uh, 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 belief. SubhanAllah, who wants to be left by Allah Azza wa Jal? So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to have sincerity in our ibadah. Sincerely for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika an ushrika bika wa ana a'amu. Astaghfiruka lima la'alamu.